Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a quick look at the new Manjaro release, Pavo 21.1.0. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can be entered for the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that I'll be doing on August 31st. Now let's take a look at Manjaro. This is a brand new release and there are some changes that they've made. The first thing we want to go off of is we're going to zip on over here and I'm going to open up system settings and you'll notice some things new right out of the box. Right out of the box when you open it up it gives you the option for a light and dark theme plus it gives you the ability to change your animation speed, speed it up, slow it down. Send user feedback, we've got to off. You can set this up if you want to, but most people I know don't like to be sending all kinds of information from their, their machine. But it's real simple, like you go over here, click light, and apply, and it switches everything up for you. I'm a little older, so my eyes need uh, a little bit more contrast, so I'm gonna go with the dark theme, and we'll apply that right off the bat. But that's one of the few changes right off the bat you'll see. It's coming out of the box with a brand new beautiful background wallpaper I think it is very very awesome uh, you'll know down here you notice you're gonna have some changes to your system tray your desktop multiple desktop views instead of being over here by this icon or by the application launcher is now over here on the right side of the panel and you can switch those if you want to add more you can do that in settings You've got your Manjaro settings managers right here. You have a new, if you notice this, this is what they call them a tray. This is the Manjaro tray, and you'll get direct notifications from Manjaro about things that they've either updated or Manjaro news. Like you can see right here, this right here is a stable update, kernels, KDE software, NVIDIA, Firefox, Thunderbird, Mate, but they give you Pavo's release, 21.10, but this is all news that concerns Manjaro which will come in handy if you start running Manjaro and something new pops out they'll notify you right off the bat and you don't have to worry about it go ahead and close that out I've got OBS running so that's over here of course your system is up to date clipboard volume battery Bluetooth microphone and Wi-Fi now if you look right here next to Wi-Fi you've got show hidden icons well if you click on that you got your status and notifications, your notification centers here, your night control color, which you can set up. It's off, but when you have night control color on, as it starts getting later in the day and it gets darker outside, your machine's contrast and brightness will actually adjust so it's not as hard on your eyes. KDE Connect, that way you can hook this right up to your Android phone and get messages and everything right on your Linux Manjaro desktop and then lock key status. That's what we have right there. Let's see what we got out of the box. One thing you'll notice right out of the box is the application launcher is different. It, it, they've rearranged it. It's a little smaller uh, in size now and it's a lot easier to navigate through. But you do have the option if you want to go with something a little different. Show alternatives. You can go with the application dashboard. So when you click that you get a dashboard like this it breaks everything down and then of course your shutdown restart log out is right there or you can switch over to application menu which gives you the more focused menu right here or you can switch it up to the simple menu which gives you a layout it looks kind of like their older layout just opposite and it's a little bit smaller but I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the application launcher switch and go back to where it was now out of the box in development you get your QT tools your QT assistant designer linguist QD bus viewer education you get mathematics and science let's click on mathematics LibreOffice Math, you get Libre Science, Libre Math, Games, you've got Steam installed from right from. You have Steam installed right out of the box. Graphics, 
Now I installed GIMP already, so that doesn't come with it. You get Gwynview, Ocular, Scanlight out of the box. LibreOffice and GIMP I installed afterward. Uh, I installed LibreOffice, I installed OBS, I installed GIMP, I installed MailSpring, and I installed Caden Live. That didn't come with the out of the box. Out of the box internet wise, you get the server browser, you get Firefox, KDE Connect, KDE, KDE Connect SMS, KGET, open on connected device via KGET, Qubit Torrent, Steam, Thunderbird is your internet, multimedia, these are all out of the box except for Caden Live and OBS. You get Elisa, K3B, QT Test Utility, QT Video Capture Utility, and VLC. Like I said, Office-wise, I downloaded all the LibreOffice suite. Ocular came with it out of the box. Settings, add and remove software, app image launcher settings, Manjaro notifier, Manjaro settings, system settings. And then, of course, your system, add and remove software, Dolphin, hardware locality, HTOP out of the box, console, SysGuard, and then your utilities. But it's got... A beautiful selection of uh, KDE apps and uh, Linux apps out of the box. Now, what I do want to show you is the KSYS, the system monitor, has been updated for this release. It's going to look different for y'all, and it still has the transparent background when moving. This is your opening when you open system monitor. This is what you're going to look at right off the bat. I've got eight gigs of memory in this laptop. It's using two right now at rest with system monitor opened. Uh, 224 gigabytes of space. Its used space is 21.3 gigs. Now that 21.3 gigs used space is including the fact that I've downloaded LibreOffice, GIMP, OBS, Caden Live, uh, and MailSpring. But I will tell you right off the bat, uh, compared to Windows, uh, Windows I had already used just on a base install and downloading Caden Live and OBS, I, had, I was already down to like 185 gigabytes. It was ridiculous. I went in and double checked some information and I had like 24 gigabytes of temporary files. It was just ridiculous. I got 12 cores on my Ryzen 5 at rest, opening with system monitor. I'm using about 10%. We'll look at that here in a second. At rest, obviously, with OBS running in the background. OBS and system monitors what I have open. Here's your history. It'll break it down. All 12 cores, it'll just show me the history of it. Down here, memory, how much physical memory I'm using. And then, of course, your download upload rate right here. And then your processes. This is where you can come in, and if you've got something that you think might be hanging up, you know, you can always right-click on it, in process. And just like in Windows, this has been in Linux forever. I love how Windows comes out and says, you know, we've got all these great, great features coming out with Windows 11, and then you can go over and download something like Manjaro, who's had basically those features for the last decade at least. Out of the box, you get Firefox. And let's go over and look at some of the things that Manjaro's got on their website about their new release. Pavo, Manjaro 21.1.0. Uh, it's using the KDE Plasma 5.2. Two. This release features major improvements to Calamares, including file system selection for automatic partitioning and enhanced support for BTRFS. For BTRFS installation, the default sub-volume layout has been improved for easier rollbacks and less wasted space on snapshots. Additionally, swap files on BTRFS file system are now supported. That's pretty impressive. That's one thing I forgot to bring up earlier is now you have the option to take between four different file systems. Instead of just the, the primary that most people stick with, the EXT4, you can now go with BTRFS if you want to. Okay, the Plasma edition that we're using, the KDE Plasma, uh, comes with the latest 5.22 series, frameworks 5.85, and applications 21.08. We also updated our default theme to match more upstream breeze theming. This includes also a new wallpaper. Now what I did notice, out of the box, and if you've used Manjaro before, generally when you go and pick a dark mode, 
it would go to the breeze dark and it would change all your icons down here to blue and then the trash can for your trash i mean and then you'd have to go back in and switch your icons you don't do that anymore when you go to a dark theme it leaves your icons in place until you actually choose yourself what icons you want to change basically what they've done is made it more smooth made it more easier to use and that was my only like just let's take firefox for example when i'd take firefox and I would remove the title bar. I hate the title bar. Let's go over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, more tools. Title bar. Okay. Title bar would be there. I didn't like the title bar, but what used to happen in older versions is when I removed the title bar, these close, minimize, maximize buttons would go gray and they were really hard to see against the dark background. As you can see right now, they've changed that up. It makes everything real easy to see and it makes it much more pleasurable to use. So all in all, with this release of Manjaro, they've made some great updates. Um, they have done many things that have made it easier for a user to say, you know what, I want to leave Windows. And when I leave Windows, I want to go to Manjaro. And I want everybody to know this is still my daily driver. Also, I'm getting ready to start a series of Manjaro videos that basically walk you step through step. Let's say you're leaving Windows you install Manjaro you can watch my series and it'll tell you exactly everything you need to make that that Manjaro setup the best that you can have and just bury windows I thank you all for watching today hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel so you can be entered for that giveaway on the Asus 14 Zenbook um, appreciate it and I'll see y'all in the next video